Hey, what's up guys? I'm Josh Kramer. You can follow me on Instagram at Josh Kramer Yoga. I'm here in Beverly Hills at the Allo Flagship Store and we're about to do a 10 minute core burnout. This is gonna be a really short and intense class that's gonna help condition your core for a range of yoga postures. And it's also gonna help you on your way to getting that six pack abs. So hit the subscribe button and make sure you guys tune in next time for some more classes. This is gonna be a 10 minute core burnout. So you're not gonna need anything except your mat and yourself. Let's get started on our backs and we're gonna make our way through some exercises in 10 minutes. Let's start with our knees into our chest, hands alongside the thighs, and on an inhale, draw the knees into the chest, lift the chest off the ground, exhale, release it out. One, inhale, exhale. We're gonna do 15, in, out, three, four. Use the breath here, inhale, exhale it out, five, in, six, in, exhale it out, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, use your breath to save the energy, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, hug the knees into the chest, nice little break here. Bring the feet up to the sky, interlace the fingers, lift the chest off the ground. We're gonna pulse the hands up to the feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hug the knees into the chest, little break. We're gonna make our way into V-ups. Now these are a, little, are a little bit challenging, so if you can't do them, just do the last two exercises that we did. So with the arms extended out, the feet out, we're gonna pulse up, touch the feet to the hands for one. Pulse up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hug the knees into the chest. And we're gonna make our way straight over onto our forearms into our active rest position or a forearm plank. So shoulders above the elbows, lift the hips up and we can rock forwards and back here. Hips high. Shoulders doming, belly button drawing to spine. Work the core. Use the core to find stability. In addition to repetitions, it's important to find these static postures where we're holding uncomfortable positions for an extended period of time to build stability. Go for about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Make your way straight back over onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest. We're gonna do slow yogi bicycles. So extend the left leg out, hug the right knee into the chest, crunch, left elbow to right knee. Take an inhale, we move on the exhale. So inhale, left knee to right, left elbow to right knee. Exhale, right elbow to left knee. Inhale, hold it there. Exhale, twist. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hug the knees into the chest, little shake. 
and bring the legs up to 90 degrees. We're going to do little flutter kicks here. So start crisscrossing the ankles in front of each other, hands alongside your thighs, and start to lower down slowly, bringing your feet closer towards the mat, nice and slow, chest off the ground, belly button to spine, slow control movements, but don't go lower than you're capable of, these are tough. Right just above the ground, start to make your way back up. Take a little break, 90 degrees, you can hold behind the thighs if you need to. Make our way down one more time, slow and controlled, maybe slow it down a little bit. Still the same work, it's tough. Just above the ground and make your way back up. Coming up to that 90 degrees, take a little break, hug the knees into the chest. Make your way straight over into our forearms. This time have the hands in line with the elbows. So more of a sphinx pose here. What we're gonna do is sphinx lifts. We're gonna do 20 of them. So from this forearm plank, lower the hips down towards the mat and pulse them up as high as you can. Imagine that there's a hook attached to your lower back pulling you up to the ceiling. Lower them down and up for two. We're gonna do 20, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Make your way over onto your left forearm. Stack the feet, forearm vashistasana. Right hand on the hips, lower the left hip down to the mat, pulse it up to the ceiling for one, two, three, 15 of these, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five. Back into those sphinx lifts. So lowering the hips down, up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Make your way onto your right forearm this time. Stack the hips. Forearm Vashistasana. Lowering down and up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Make your way over onto your back one last time. Hug the knees into the chest. Drop the feet down to the mat. We're gonna do 25 sit-ups, yogi sit-ups. So rather than curling our way up, I want you to think of pulsing your chest and your chin to the ceiling. Gently place your hands behind your head, pulsing up, one. Some micro movement here, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Hug the knees in. Just when you thought it was all over, we have one more move. Last one, make it the best one yet. So we did our yogi bicycles. Now we're gonna do that, except a little bit faster, just for a burnout. So go until you can't go anymore. 
and we'll start going for about one minute, maybe two, we'll see how we feel. So extend the left leg out, left elbow to right knee, start moving. Use the breath here. Control movements. It's called core burnout for, for a reason. Start to pick up the speed. Ten more seconds. And hug the knees into the chest. Nice work, yogis. Thanks for doing that 10 minute core burnout with me. Add that on to the end of your yoga practice, your yoga classes, and I promise you it's gonna set you on your way to developing a strong core and a strong yoga practice. Namaste.